This series was really surprising to me. Join me and find out why. That man and his manga. Hello and welcome to That Man. Today we are looking at High School DxD, at least the light novel. This is a series that has, well, a lot of pedigree behind it. It's a series that I've been aware of for quite some time and a lot of you guys have said, That Man, you need to be reading High School DxD. And I've always said I would check it out. At least once the light novel was released. And the light novel finally has came over to our shores legally via Yen Press and so I thought I'd finally dig in. To give you guys a little bit of an explanation, um, I am aware of High School DxD. In fact, I own High School DxD. Um, whichever one this one is. Season 2? Possibly? Or 3? I don't know. And so I wanted to go back and actually read the entire thing from the start. And you know what? I was pleasantly surprised. It wasn't exactly the series that I was led to believe it was. Which was strange. High School DxD is about a young pervert named Isai, who really, really, really is perverted. Uh, pretty much all of the first chapter is him just being like, well, I think this, I think that, and this is how I look at girls. And he shares the same experiences with two of his friends, who are also major perverts. They trade porn in class, for example. And things start turning around for him when he finally gets a girlfriend. He's all well and chuffed and he has what is, in his opinion, the perfect first date. That is until the end when she sprouts black wings and impales him with a spear. He is saved by the most beautiful girl in school, Ries Grammary. I believe that's how she's pronounced. She saves him and she's just like, you know what, you're gonna work for me because I'm a demon. And so begins Isai's life as a demon. That's pretty much the, the synopsis for it. I, I was, that was what I was expecting. I knew the series was about demons and etchy, and that was about it. And I was pleasantly surprised by how competent the title was. I was expecting something a little bit more trashy than what it was. In fact, in terms of etchy, there wasn't a huge amount in this. Sure, there was a point where Isai woke up with Rias naked next to him, and his mom's just like, What's going on here? What's going on here? Oh my god! Until Rias tells her off, and... Yeah, that's about as extreme as the series gets, at least in this particular volume. But it works in other ways. I wouldn't say that this was a bad series. Not at any point. I absolutely loved every moment of this. I really enjoyed Isai's climb to the top, or at least attempting to climb from the top. From the bottom. He is a lowly pawn, and, you know, pawns in the game of chess, they tend to be expendable. However, pawns can also go all the way and become a queen. Ooh, uh. Isai has his work cut out for him, however, as he's not even good enough to even go through the teleportation circle. And this was where the series really started to shine. Now, this is yet another overpowered protagonist. However, he does start off at the bottom, and I really enjoyed the first few chapters where he was at the bottom of the bottom, and he was trying to go around and initiate all of these demon contracts with people, but it's like, oh well, you know, you might have to die if you do this contract. Let's play Dragon Ball Z instead. And he spends the whole night with one of these guys just playing Dragon Ball Z. The rest of the cast are quite interesting. Of course, it's the, the perfect girls, and there's a few other guys in there as well. I, I really like that. I like how there was a nice mixture of male and female characters. Usually in this, and I'm expecting as the series goes on, more and more girls just appear and a part of the harem. And that is pretty much Isai's number one goal. He wants to have a harem while he becomes 
a better and better demon. Now, what surprised me about this, like I said, it wasn't that much etchy in the series. Instead, we got what I would probably see a typical shonen battle style story. So, battles such as, it's a very similar to, for example, My Academia or Jujutsu Kaisen or, or just titles like that, where there, there was a fair few battles in here. And one of the things I am aware of as an avid light novel reader is that sometimes authors struggle with writing decent battle scenarios. High School DxD, that actually manages to fulfil that and there is a fair few decent amount of battles. I was really impressed and honestly I was really surprised coming away from this particular volume to see that while the series wasn't nearly as edgy as I was expecting it to be, I managed to find a lot of fun in other ways. This was reinforced when I went on the Reddit and was just like, oh yeah, I was quite surprised. It seemed more like a shonen battle manga than it was like a normal etchy manga. And everyone was just like, yeah, 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 yeah. You, 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 you come for the etchy, you steer for the plot. And the actual narrative. But High Skill DxD was one that really impressed me. I was really surprised at how good it was. And it actually made me want to go out and buy the anime, so hey, I'll be checking that out. I do believe that it's going to get more and more edgy as the series goes on, but as the series on this particular volume, I really enjoyed it. I was really impressed. I really had a great time reading it. There's only around 160 pages to this, so you can get through it rather quickly. It is an incredibly easy read, and I feel that it's one that a lot of people are going to get a lot of fun out of. A lot of fun. But that's just my opinion. What did you think of High School DxD? Is it worth your time investing in this? And let me know in the comments what you thought. Remember to subscribe and leave a like. And if you do like light novels, if you do like etchy manga, there's going to be some great content up here for you. Go check them out.